Forget Perry Mason. If I ever find myself in trouble with the law, Joyce Davenport would be the person that I would make my one phone call to. For seven seasons, actress Veronica Hamill played Joyce Davenport on the Stephen Boschko crime drama Hill Street Blues. Tuesday, an all-new two-hour movie, Hill Street Blues. Captain Frank Farillo, the man in charge. I won't have my men abusing their authority. Public defender, Joyce Davenport. Hey, I've been working in this junkyard too long. Torn between love and duty. It's making me mean and angry. Detective Felker, his life in jeopardy. Where were you? Because of fellow cop LaRue. You're a drunk. And officers Hill and Rinko trying to make a difference. That's okay, we won't go down. The best news show of the year, Tuesday at 9, 8 Central Mountain on NBC. I love this TV Guide advertisement for the very first airing of the show. It really captures the irreverent spirit of that TV program. And Veronica was a big part of the show's success. Like many great television shows, the entire cast was phenomenal. Still, Veronica's work on the show was extra special, and because of that, she was nominated for an Emmy five times during the show's run. Veronica took the notoriety and fame that she got from Hill Street Blues and doubled down with a 1983 TV movie that pushed boundaries for television at the time. This woman is a cool girl, one of the best. Only the man she loves doesn't know it. Nice to get out from under all that pressure. Huh, I don't know. I think maybe I feed on it. Her double life becomes increasingly difficult Beth? to manage. It's Randy. I have a Ralph Henson on the line. I don't allow animals on the furniture. I'm not going to stand for any disobedience, you understand? One day, not only her body, but her mind begins to turn tricks. I'm very good at what I do. Very good. After Hill Street Blues, Veronica continued to find work. I remember roles in films like A New Life with Alan Alda and Taking Care of Business with Jim Belushi and Charles Grodin. At the turn of the century, you could still find Veronica on the small screen in recurring roles on shows like Third Watch and Lost. However, over the past decade, she's pretty much been missing in action. I'd like to believe that's because Veronica's made the decision to step away from the world of entertainment and focus on herself during her golden years. As much as I would have loved to have seen her continue to work, there comes a point when we all have to reprioritize our lives and focus on what truly is important. No one, and I mean no one, could rock a men's collared dress shirt the way that Veronica did. She should have gotten an Emmy just for that. So what do you think? Was Joyce Davenport, as played by Veronica Hamill, the sexiest TV lawyer ever? Let me know in the comments section. And while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And what the heck? Why not subscribe to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.